This is Twit. Well, my app is also, <laughs> it's also a little involved with security and being secure. Uh, I am bringing Firefox Focus into the arena this week, uh, which maybe you guys saw this launch a couple of weeks ago. It actually, it came out this summer. Basically what it does, it allows you to go on the internet, browse the internet without any ads and without any online trackers. So you can just browse it as you'd like to browse. Now, what would you guys like to browse? What website would you like to go to? Hats. Hats? Hats? That's oh. like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Okay, how about- It's a word just, that came to I'm, mind. I'm gonna go to Forbes.com because I just go to can't. Hats. Hats.com. Oh, there's got to be a hats.com. I wonder what's okay, there. Well, I'm going to go oh, to Forbes.com. You might want to check it first. This is Just, dangerous. Oh, <laughs> they, they, they have hats. So it'll load. Hey, right. I didn't oh. get the interstitial. It's, oh, that dreaded just, Forbes interstitial. Yeah, it just loads. And then when you're done and you just want to get out of this, there's no tabs. All you do is bye. Nice thing about this is you don't log in. You don't have to log in at with anything. Uh, the annoyance about that might be that, well, if you want a robust browser, well, this isn't a robust browser. This is specifically for when you want to just be under the radar. You want to surf the internet without ad trackers, analytics trackers, social trackers, content trackers, which, you know, might break some video and web pages, but at least you're just getting the content, you know, the text. You can also get stealth, which uh, will hide the web pages when you're switching apps so that if somebody needs to use your phone, they don't know what you're looking at. Uh, block web fonts, just in case you don't want to deal with style guides. You can also choose to make it your default browser if you'd rather just always browse securely and only have Chrome for, I don't know, whatever you've got going on on your Android phone. Of course, you can also choose whether or not to send anonymous data, you know, help the peeps at Mozilla out. Uh, but other than that, it's just a very straightforward, like pop in and pop out browser. So very low key, it's free. You don't need to sign in. You just keep it on. It's a little bit better than in incognito mode because it just doesn't have absolutely any ties to any account whatsoever. So yeah. I, I love the symmetry here. Jason is adding a man in the middle and you're taking one out. <laughs> I'm not adding a man in the middle. <laughs> Jeez. You're misunderstanding the point. Uh, I love, I, yeah, Firefox uh, focus is great. Put it in your in your browser like folder or whatever, and yeah, it's just yeah. I mean, I you know I'm always looking at you know the Department of Defense's records, so clearly I aren't we all? Just, <laughs> I made that up, by the way. I'm not doing any of that. I'm Watch always too late. Too late. You're on the list now. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm always Brad. looking at the Bradford Fedora on Hats.com. It's only 250. So Hats.com is a website. Yeah, it's a website. It's, I didn't know fedoras, about it before. Fedoras, by the way, okay. very pricey. Uh, Wait, fedoras? Yeah, apparently. Oh, fedora 250 bucks for oh, a Bradford yeah, yeah, yeah. Fedora. 